How are you enjoying Festival of the Holidays? Speechless, really. No words. Did you watch any of the shows? Any of the storytellers? No? How about you? Did you get your annual pass magnets? Okay, have a nice day, guys. Bye. All right, just DM me, okay? We'll collab. Hello, my friends. I'm back here at Epcot for Festival of Holidays. One more quick little trip here. Now, there's a lot that I had on my list of food that I want to eat. I have AP Magnet, there's some shows. Uh, there's a lot more left to check out, so let's get this started. Looks like the line is not nearly as bad as the other time I was here, so let's go ahead and pop in and hopefully it's a quick wait. So that wait I showed you guys was only like a five minute wait, but they did have three people distributing these. But how amazing are they? I think this is the first time Chippendale are on a magnet. Uh, the first show that's been on my list uh, ever since I passed by it, right at the end was Las Posadas Celebration because um, every year uh, when I celebrate Christmas, we do caroling like that. So I want to check this out because it's going to be stuff that I, I'm familiar with and it's they're doing it here at Epcot and I love that. Our next selection is a, a medley of Biancico. So Biancico is a Christmas carol. Uh, so we'll be playing a medley of Christmas carols for you. So we hope you enjoy the rest of the show. Pretty awesome to see. I haven't heard uh, Besas en el Rio in a long time. That was pretty cool. But uh, now there is something that I want to actually get from the uh, Las Posadas kitchen that's here. So I'm gonna go ahead over there. Hopefully there's not too big of a line like there was yesterday. The sun is hitting this pretty hard, but I think you guys can see that they have a giant tostada de puerco, which I'm really digging. They also have a tamal de pollo, but I don't know. I don't know about that one. It's, it just seems like the serving size is gonna be pretty small. And then they have the horchata cheesecake, which I'm not a big fan of horchata, but, you know, every, uh, some people are really big fans, so I felt like I should point that out. And then the last things is all of these drinks have tequila, and I actually have an agave allergy, so I'm not going to be going for any of this, but they certainly sound delicious with the, uh, the apple cider and cinnamon. That must be really good. So here is the pork tostada. Wow, this looks heavenly. I'm going to go ahead and dig in, but give you like a little 360 view here well that was freaking delicious that really hit the spot um yeah get it if you are in any way inclined to getting like mexican food the sauce was delicious the meat was cooked really well highly recommend it 
Oh, just behind me, the Norway Pavilion's oh my goodness. Uh, Olaf, Storyteller. Right I think that's what they're called. Joe? Storyteller is starting right now. When nights are getting longer and lakes are freeze to ice, Mother Mouse warns strongly about a foul device. We must avoid the mouse trap, but there is not to fear. We'll all be celebrating at Christmas time this year. Hey, son, oh, hope, son, no fa le da le da. Om jule kväll in daska lalle sammen bara kan sing along. Hey, son, oh, hope, son, no fa le da le da. Om jule kväll in daska lalle sammen bara kan. Goo you! Yes, that is how we say Merry Christmas in my country. Goo you! <laughs> now, all across Norway, the holidays are family time, but. How you celebrate the holidays depends on whether you live in a big fancy, fancy city, or like me, on one of our wonderful Norwegian farms. On our farms, many families still celebrate the tradition of the Christmas Misa. Now there are two. There is Julenissen, who visits on Christmas Eve to leave the children gifts, and Fjosnissen, who lives in the haylofts of our barns. Now it is said that this Nisa, this barn Santa, is one of our wonderful yet strange, strange. little elves who what? are the guardians of our farm animals and welfare. And it is said that uh, especially at Christmas time, we must treat this Nisa, this barn Santa, mm -hmm. with respect. Mm -hmm. For if we don't, he has been known to cause quite a bit of mischief every now and again. <laughs> but, uh, well. So all this talk about the barn Santa is neither here nor there, for we all know these mischief makers do not exist, <laughs> except in stories and fairy tales. What? So all this talk about the barn Santa <laughs> is neither here nor there, for we all know that these mischief makers do not exist. Unless they do exist, and are therefore very clever and mischievous indeed. <laughs> uh, I am the legendary barn Santa! Yay. Thank you. Right on cue. Very nice. <laughs> so, I don't exist, huh? Well, will you all see me, don't you? Yes, okay, well, well, let's hear you all say a nice goo yule. Very nice, and it would be a goo yule, but every Christmas has been the same. A secret here doesn't see me because she doesn't believe that I exist, even when I do this. She still doesn't see me. <gasps> say, you all wouldn't mind if I take the liberty to use a little mischief and magic to help Sigri with her story? <laughs> Who knows? Maybe this time she just might believe. In Norway, we have a three-day celebration. Oh, that's right. We celebrate with a party. Oh, Sigri. <laughs> we like to party. We like to party. We like to party. <laughs> uh, <but> Yay! <laughs> The children do not forget about the barn Santa. They leave him treats too! Oh, that's right! They leave me treats too! A nice big bowl of rice porridge with a little bit of cinnamon and sugar and a nice pat of butter right on the top. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you will never guess what the barn Santa likes to eat. Go ahead, try to guess. Rice porridge. Yes, rice porridge. That is so... How did you... Butter on the top. Well, yes, butter on the top. I under... <laughs> Well, we also leave him a big stein of ale. What? Stein drop? Oh! <laughs> she dropped and I cut. She go, woo, 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 woo. The rest of the night is spent exchanging gifts and singing Christmas carols all around the Christmas tree till very late at night and that's a long Christmas Eve. But even though the children have opened up their presents on Christmas Eve, they still get up early on Christmas Day. Some people go to church services, but then the rest of the day is spent with family. But we are not done yet because the day after Christmas in Norway, December 26th, that is our second Christmas Day. Yay, that's the day for parties, ringing bells, visit friends. Don't even think about it, Darth Vader. <laughs> Oh my! Well, everybody, what to do? Uh, Sigrid's almost at the end of her story. And she's almost at the end of her wits, too, right? <laughs> but, but she still doesn't see me. <gasps> so, I need magical help from all of you. Yes, I need you all, on the count of three, to say a really big book. Can you do that for me? Oh, yeah, you definitely can. Okay, here we go. A one, a two, a three! <gasps> well, all right. Uh, Oh, there you are. Uh, now I know all about the holidays on Norway's farms. And I'm sorry hey, to burst your bubble about the whole gnome thing, but he does not oh, exist. He doesn't. Ah! It's you. It's me. It's him. I'm him. The Bird Santa. Who <laughs> you? <laughs> we did it, everyone. I can't believe it. You can't believe it. Can That's I believe the it? whole point. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without your help making a believer out of the lovely secret. So, I hereby dub you all honorary Christmas magic makers Darth for the rest of the day. A bibbity, babbity, a boopy. <laughs> wow. Everyone. You have been living in my barn? What? You've been living in my barn? Yeah, I've been living it up in your barn. That's what You've I mean. Have I mean, you been technically, living La Vida Loca in my barn? And that's what I've been doing. Wow. With my friend Ricky. There you go. Hello. That's amazing. Yeah. Hello there. 
Oh, hello. Hello. Did you have fun over there? I did. What you brings did? you over here? I was just wandering. It's my feet that bring me over here. <laughs> Came here just in time for... Uh, now we battle to the other side through everybody. <laughs> So I made it over to the Shiwasu Holiday Kitchen, and there's two things on here that caught my eye. The sushi tree and the matcha creme brulee. I don't know about the creme brulee right now. Last year I had these, found out I don't really like soba. So here is the creme brulee, the matcha creme brulee. It del looks delicious, I've heard really good things about it. And the tree sushi. I forget what the other word was that was in front of it, forgive me, my Japanese is terrible. So I'm not going to make an attempt out of it, but this really looks good and festive and delicious. Just wanted to give you a quick update on this creme brulee because wow, this is matcha heaven. If any of you are super into matcha, you need to get this. That thing, I don't know what it's called when you like crack the top of a creme brulee, but whew, it made a sound, it made a nice sound. And then getting in there, there was a lychee and a strawberry and a little bit of chocolate. So I stirred that up and had it. Oh my gosh, that was so good. Just giving a quick update on the sushi tree. There's like little to no sushi on this. There's a hint of sushi like packed in the middle, but most of it is just layer of rice with some vegetables. Yeah, I wish that it had a little bit more sushi throughout it and this would have been killer. But that being said, the pieces of sushi that are here are actually pretty good. All right guys, so I think that's gonna do it for me here at Festival of the Holidays. Absolutely loved it this year. And sadly, I have to go catch a flight. So this is going to be my last time here at Disney World for 2019. So I just want to thank you all for following along. Hopefully you've enjoyed following my adventures this year. And let's uh, see what happens next year. Hopefully I can get down here again sometime soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. And I hope you go make your own adventure.